Today we continue reading from Unwind Your Mind Back to God, Book 1, Laying the Foundation, Chapter 1, Section 9, Approaching the Atonement, Discouraged by Time. Hi, David. Jesus says in the meaning of the Last Judgment section, Just as the separation occurred over millions of years, the last judgment will extend over a similarly long period and perhaps an even longer one. Text chapter 2, section 8 With the last judgment, he means that man finally judges himself as forgiven and sees himself as God does. Does this mean the healing of the whole sonship will take many millions of years? When I look at my own journey, I see how rigidly I hold my perceptions in place and how seeing differently can seem to take enormous persuasion. Those times that I had a glimmering that my seeing was wrong and what the truth really was seemed like they were a change the size of a grain of sand. I think I am going to need millions of years to see completely differently, to shift my perceptions so wholly. This really freaks me out because I really thought, wow, cool, I really have the solution finally. So all I have to do is read the course and hey presto, my life will change and everything will be wonderful. Now, I am seeing how much it took just to see that tiny bit differently and I am disappointed that I will not have enough time to get it in this lifetime. I do believe in reincarnation, but who wants to go through more death experiences? I have become very disheartened by this. Can you help? Beloved one, thanks for sharing what is on your heart. Do not be disheartened by the thought of time, for the world you perceive was over long ago. This world is the past. It was just a symbol and represents only the meaning that was given it. It seemed to last but an instant and was forgiven immediately by the Holy Spirit. Process is a time concept. Miracles are simply a gentle use of time to collapse time while you still believe in it. In this sense, time is under the control of the miracle worker. Christ arranges time and space for the miracle worker as the miracle worker seems to perform miracles. And atonement is the first and last miracle, the Alpha and the Omega, and all the miracles which seemed to come in between. Atonement means correction. It is the awareness that the separation never happened. This cannot be difficult to accept, for no illusion can stand in the light of truth. Do not be discouraged by the process of awakening. All thoughts of process are transitory metaphors that simply disappear in the twinkling of an eye. Truth is true and has no exceptions. There was never a time when illusions could replace truth and time cannot replace eternity. Spirit and time cannot be reconciled, for spirit is true and time does not exist. 
Awakening is nothing more than this realization. Life is neither of the body nor inner body. Life is an eternal state of mind. There is no death, for nothing real can die. Forgiveness shows the falsity of illusion and thus makes way for the remembrance of God and Christ. Christ is not born and does not die, remaining eternal as God created Christ in spirit. If you seem to be discouraged by judging progress, remember the teaching of Christ. Judge not, lest ye be judged. Book of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 1. Time is self-judgment. The Holy Spirit's only use of time is to teach that there is no time. These words witness to this simple fact, for Christ is fact. And time and Christ cannot coexist. It only takes one instant for atonement. Yet, this instant is without an opposite and thus is completely certain. Miracles will seem to build your trust. Yet, atonement is a moment of complete trust that yields to absolute certainty. You cannot fail to accept what is inevitable, and God's plan for salvation is inevitable. Innocence is our birthright, and nothing can change what God created perfect and eternal. I use many symbols and metaphors. These are transitory illusions that point beyond themselves. What is is literally beyond symbols and metaphors. Complete forgiveness rendered time past and gone. I rejoice in the holy instant and ask but that Christ be glorified by recognizing the self God created forever pure and innocent. In this recognition is God glorified. All glory to God forever and ever. Amen.